In the first week the eruption at La Palma was characterized by strombolian explosions, lava fountaining from multiple vents, advancing lava flows, and sometimes dense daily ash emissions. A new vent opened on the lower west flank of the pyroclastic cone on 25th of September. The new lava flowed at first with a pace of 1 km per hour but after one day that slowed down to 60 to 80 meters per hour. After one week 2.34 square kilometers was covered by lava and more than 500 houses destroyed. Most of the main lava flow continued to advance west and covered banana greenhouses, burning the plastic and igniting storage of fertilizer resulting in small explosions. Late on the 28th of September lava reached the coastal area, descended a 100 meters high sea cliff, and by 2302 reached the ocean at Playa de los Gears. Black and white plumes rose from where the lava contacted the water. Satellites measured very large plumes of SO2. Hundreds of kilometers to the east, south, and north of La Palma during 28, 29, and 30th of September. The width of the flow field was a maximum of 1,000 to 250 meter and lava tubes were identified in satellite images. After the second week 4.34 square kilometers was covered by lava and more than 1,046 houses are destroyed. Lava continued flowing to the sea along the same path. And several new vents opened northwest of the main cone. During most of 4th of October, the volcano produced a dense ash column that rose 2 to 3 kilometers and drifted south or southwest, sparing the El Paso area this time. Lava fountains rose hundreds of meters and ash plumes rose as high as 4.5 kilometers.
Seismic activity is beginning to increase again. After the third week, 10th of October 5.70 square kilometers was covered by lava and more than 1,323 houses destroyed. The most northern flow had continued to advance and was 300 meters from the coast. The flows overtook a concrete plant, prompting authorities to instruct residents to remain indoors and take measures to reduce exposure to toxic fumes. On 12th of October the advancing northern flow caused the preemptive evacuation of the La Laguna area. The flow continued to cover crops and was 200 meters from the coast, but had slowed. This is a movie compiled with satellite images from the Maxim Company and shows volcanic lightning which can occur together with rising ash columns. Seismicity continued to be elevated. The earthquakes were located around the same area where the swarm first began on 11th of September, though it is shifting south and east. On 14 to 16 October 4.5 magnitude earthquake were recorded each day at depths more than 30 kilometers.